the latest in our College COVID War series. This from the once sensible University of Chicago, which instituted a campus-wide vaccine mandate last summer. A December email from the university's provost to students and staff bragged that 98% of employees and 97% of students are compliant with the school's vax requirement. Now, like many other schools, the University of Chicago participates in the COVID theater of regular testing for the unvaccinated and universal mask wearing. But it actually gets worse. They also joined the ignorant herds by announcing a booster requirement as well, because we know that works so well against Omicron. The deadline is January 31st. Now, while we're sure most of the students, staff will blindly comply, despite Omicron's evasion of vaccines and boosters, one student, an unvaccinated football player, has stood his ground. Now, he was initially granted a vaccine exemption, but suddenly, you, Chicago, has told him that they will no longer recognize it. But here's the truly disturbing part. That student says the school forced him to move into a single room last fall because he hadn't gotten the jab. And when he didn't immediately do so, this happened. He wrote that I was awakened by three exceedingly officious university housing officials pounding on my dorm door, screaming my name. I groggily opened the door and each of the three berated me in turn for sleeping in an unauthorized bed. Well, that's when he realized he was being surveilled by the school. Now he calls these tactics authoritarian and has a warning tonight to students and parents across America. We welcome University of Chicago sophomore Arthur Long. Arthur, uh, it's good to see you tonight. Now, first, you, you already had COVID, I believe, and you, you're positive for the SARS-CoV-2 T cells. And the school did grant you an exemption last summer. So what the heck changed? Hi, Laura. Thanks for having me on tonight. And that's correct. Uh, I received a medical exemption uh, back in June of last year. And then when I showed up to football camp in August, uh, I was rudely awakened by three university officials who banged on my door and said that I was sleeping in an unauthorized bed and forced me to move to a single, which is what all unvaccinated kids need to do now at UChicago. This was the first of three shocking events that have happened to me at the university. During midterms, I received an unsigned email from Student Wellness saying that I was not in compliance with the university's mandate. And it told me that my Wi-Fi, access to university buildings, and my dorm room where I sleep were about to be terminated. And then during final exams, I received an email from the director of student wellness saying yet again that I was not in compliance with the mandate. He cited a bunch of anonymous experts and no facts and tried to override the advice of my own personal physician. Now, Arthur, I can't believe this because I, all, all I ever hear about University of Chicago, and I've visited a few times over the years, it's such a wonderful place, great professors, incredible institution of higher learning. But this sounds Orwellian. Uh, apparently, just going back to August for a second, when those school officials you know, pounded on your door, what happened? One of your friends heard what they were saying in the hallway? Yes. So after this happened, uh, one of my teammates came up, to, came up to me and he overheard them in the hall chuckling to themselves and saying, let's get this unvaccinated kid. He's here. <laughs> so what's next for you? Is there a January 31st deadline, that booster deadline that now all the students have to comply with, even though it doesn't work against Omicron, obviously? Um, so they have to comply. So where does that leave you? School begins again for the semester on Monday, I understand. That's correct. We, we resume in-person classes next Monday. But the, the thing is, Laura, I'm not going to get the vaccine. I'm certainly not going to be coerced by a bunch of anonymous bureaucrats and so-called experts who think they can make uh, my own personal public health, my own personal health decisions for me. Um, I, I know this is a fight that's going across, on across America, and it's sad that it's come to you, Chicago, which is you know, known as a bastion of intellectual freedom and open and rigorous debate. But the only people who don't want to debate this are the university administration. Now, what's the reaction of some of your classmates, your teammates? Most of them did comply. I think a lot of people just say, oh, well, I'll just take the jab. It's not any big deal. And that's fine. That's what they want to do. Um, uh, but what, what do they say to you? 
Are they resentful, angry, supportive? Uh, the support so far since the publication of my piece uh, at the Chicago Thinker has been overwhelming. Lots of my teammates and friends were, in fact, coerced to take this shot. They mm -hmm. did not want to do it. But with the university threatening all these authoritarian measures, they have nowhere else to go. That's why it's important for us all to stand up as students and tell the university that this is not going to stand. Well, this is countries are dropping their vaccine requirements like the UK and others. So University of Chicago stands firm and the ignorant approach. Uh, Arthur, we wish you the best. We'll be following this case if you end up filing one against the university. But I hope for their sake they relent. Thanks so much, Arthur. Thanks, Laura. God bless.